this should be a challenge to you. To a is, challenge to get the I, views, a challenge to get the subscribers. Or if you're not doing it for that, do you have cute cheeks. memories to look back do on. Do it for the cheeks. You feel me? With cheeks. What's going on guys? So today I got Lena a surprise. Um, I hid them all in that barn. She has to go look for them. She just got home. She's not inside yet, but I ordered, you can't get egg surprises in, I think like the US and she loves watching egg surprises. So I ordered her Paw Patrol egg surprises offline and I ordered them for Christmas, but they just came in. Lena. What, uh, I fell. I thought, did you really? Yeah. Look, it's so slippery. <laughs> Lena, where, where was your bird? In the nest. In the nest? I got you surprised. I got you surprised. <gasps> What's that? What is it? Egg. What's, this one's red. I'm going to change your color. Red. Zuma. Oh. Let's see. Is he stretchy? Today, guys, we're talking about what happened to the new YouTube standards. Get coffee. To start monetizing your YouTube channel, you need over 4,000 hours of watch time. Chucky! How many minutes is that, Monica? 240,000, I believe. 240,000 watch time minutes. That's is a that, lot of is minutes. Is that right? Yeah, we did the math yesterday. As well as you need 1,000 subscribers. That big ginormous. Who's excited for Monica's pinkies? About to pop right now. First <laughs> well, okay, so there's, there's two different thoughts. What are your first my thoughts? My personal first thought. Okay, I'm doing Jesus. it based off my experience. Her with YouTube. experience. Don't look at. I started right making now. YouTube videos when I was like Four, 14 years, years old. old. Four. I just had a passion for creating funny videos with my friends, editing them and posting them on. I used to edit them on with like Microsoft, whatever was with Windows. Never made a dime. <laughs> I just did it for fun. So my experience, like, if this this was me, like, I, I don't care. The only reason I stopped making videos is because of work purposes. Just to look from Ryan's side and how much, especially, like, last year, how much you worked your butt off filming and last editing. year? I've worked a lot. You just still do now, I'm just kidding. but you don't post every day. Yeah, I know. But, like, when he was posting every single day, it was, like, wearing him down so much. There was no monetary benefit from it, which kind of stunk. Boom! Yeah, but I do Smack give Ryan a lot of credit because he it's does not. love editing. He loves... This is his way of expressing his art. So, whether he's making money or not, it's just something he's going to do. Mm. So, that's my take on it. If, it. if you are a true creator and you love to create, you're gonna upload videos no matter what. Yesterday I made the point that we live in an era that um, 20 years ago, those who wanted to create, there was no option. There's no, it was impossible, not impossible, but it took, it was very expensive to be a video slash filmmaker in two, early 2000s. And I look at it where YouTube is a business. They need to maximize their, in, in a sense, employees, right? And if they didn't stand, have a standard for entry, everyone would flood to it and it would saturate the market. It's the same thing as, it's like economics. If we had if we had no debt and all the money in the world, the money wouldn't be worth anything. Same thing. So right now, it's like the same thing as if anyone could make it into the NBA. That's a good point. Everyone would be in the NBA and- Everyone the, would be making- be, And no one would pay attention to it. Yeah. Because they're so saturated. That's how I put it. Like you have to have a standard to, to uphold the quality of a, a platform. And even even if it does affect me, it's not going to stop me. It's not going to stop me from creating because those who want to create are going to create. If it if it sways you away from not creating, then you really didn't want to create. In a sense, right? I'm going to quickly show who really is about is about creating, right? Can you say that? Mm -hmm. Is that offensive? I think it can be offensive to some people. Well then, sh good. But I see where you're coming from because you just like to create. I see where your aspect's coming from and I'm 
Like I'm still gonna edit videos of Lena and post them on YouTube because it's a memory for me to look back on. I'm not doing it for any monetary value. I just yeah. think it's fun and but it's cute. But there's ways to make it into monet. Uh, mon there's different ways to monetize your your videos. It just may not be being paid directly from YouTube. You can like us build a brand off of YouTube. Mm -hmm. Like if you had, if 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 Fox came to, or if MTV came to you and say, hey, we're gonna give you an opportunity, but we're not gonna pay you. The 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 price of getting that exposure will be just enough rather than getting paid because you can flex. Yeah, it's like Instagram. Why do people work hard on Instagram? You don't get paid for Instagram. I don't know. Anyway, even if they did or don't, it's, the, it's I'm pretty sure Instagram models do make money depending on how well their posts do. Okay, but that's the highest tier. I'm talking about what if you at 20,000 followers you can make money. It's not it's not a thing. And why do people still want to make posts on Instagram? It's for exposure. Memories. And I do think this is a touchy subject. It is touchy. It's, very it's a touchy subject. And it stinks because we're, we both have the same view on it. I feel like we need somebody that has an opposing view mm -hmm. to see what their side would be. Mm -hmm. That's why we need you guys to post the comments. Like, let's be honest. When was the last time you got a paycheck from YouTube? That's true. I, don't, I really when don't was get paid. The, Ryan worked his ass off oh, in my. December. Like, literally worked his butt off. And I, it was like, his, he has a real job. He's gone 60 hours a week for his normal job, and then YouTube was taking up all his other time. He doesn't get paid. Did you make one check in December from YouTube? Mm -hmm. January. Mm -hmm. It's just, if you have a passion for it, you do it. Like even if you're making music, if you say you, you wanna be a, a, a singer, think about how much a studio costs. Like whether you're renting studio time or investing in your own studio equipment. It's tens of thousands of dollars to be able to make free music for people to be familiarized with your music and then somehow navigate to grab a following and then go from there. If you want to be a content creator, you can't expect to get paid off the jump. So, I don't, I, like, I, what's and, up, mother And a lot, you can just keep this out, I can't even, I don't, I don't it's have hard. my, I don't have my thoughts you collected. Sh you should have seen me I yesterday. don't have my thoughts collected because I think sometimes when people watch YouTube, they think of this fantasy life and mm -hmm. this fantasy, yeah. which it can be. And some people work hard to get their followers, and others and also just get them handed of, to them. It's also timing. Like people that started like 2013. Yes. To look back off on. Off topic. Sorry. Okay. Off topic. Just don't keep this. It's so it's hard to talk. It's about. hard to talk about. Because it's like I it's it's in a, it's you you either feel one way or the, you feel offended or not. Offended. You can talk about Blair, Juicy Star Seven. What about her? When she started, the space was so small. Yeah. And she's like was so successful with YouTube. Yeah, and it's all, it's just like YouTube can't oversaturate their market. They're, what they're doing is figuring out who really wants to make videos. If, if you're about making videos, you'll continue to make videos. This shouldn't discourage you at all. And I hope it doesn't discourage you. People walk down the street, they ask me, what do I do for a living? I say, YouTube channel, bruh. Do you? No. <laughs> he first started. And we had like no subscribers. In the bio. He was making money. Yeah. You did, when we had no subscribers. Yeah, what about it? I was like, oh, you're gonna quit your job next year? <laughs> you at, can't keep this. <laughs> look at this, look you at us now. <laughs> Mama, we made it! No, we didn't. Oh, no. Just let me know in the comments below what you think. What are your what are your, what are your thoughts? If you're a small creator, what is what is your initial reaction? Are you pissed off? Or are you like? I I noticed like a lot of big creators when bad things happen to smaller guys, they talk. Um, they always say like, they're always against YouTube, and I'm not that I'm against YouTube or even for YouTube or for us for this. I just right in the middle. I'm like, I'm like, what should we do? I'm always stand where like. What am I gonna do, basically? Person was like, oh, I have sixty-three dollars. Yeah. Am I even gonna get paid out? Because you, you probably, they're probably saying that you, even if you're not a part of the program, you have and you have leftover money. I would assume you can't collect your money until you obtain that goal of four thousand hours and get a thousand subscribers and surpass your hundred to get your hundred and thirty. What's his name? What's his name? I got nothing out of name. So you probably have to work like you have you have to reach those goals to even collect anything, even if you have sixty dollars. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm not sure. doing. I didn't sure. do it for the money. Sure. Oh. So make sure you like and comment <laughs> and, and subscribe. <laughs>
what advice do you have for small YouTubers? Yes, please tell me. Quit. You cannot make it in this game anymore, all right? You're not going to make it. There is way too much competition. That Technically... That is horrible <laughs> advice. Do not quit. If you are passionate about making videos, it'll come around. Ryan, Ryan has this theory that... Tell me your theory. What's my theory? Like, is, is this... Is God testing you? Like, is this a test? Like it's, it's oh you gotta you gotta is it a sign or is it a test like is it am I supposed to do this or is it am I supposed to get through this that's like how I measure everything anytime I'm going through a tough time I try to figure out like is this a test where like it's the wrong decision or is it something that I'm supposed to push through yeah okay so my when my car blew up like second event ever my car spins a bearing. I could have just said, oh, drifting's not for me, and now I quit. Or, because realistically, I wasn't set up to be able to, I mean, if I really built my car, like, rebuild an SR, got a new SR, that's a lot of money. SRs are not cheap. So if I were to go down that route, and like, if, if things would have not worked out, it would have been expensive, and I wouldn't be able to have done it. But, I got through it, and through luck, fate, whatever you want to call it, Hashtag my little Zanky, the homie, hooked it up with the motor and all that stuff. But if all that didn't happen, I wouldn't have been able to rebuild my car, had the year I had, and all that good stuff. So, not yeah. fair that some channels don't get as much exposure as others because there are small channels that have a lot of views that don't get that much exposure. Yeah. Like, I remember I when really Ryan good first started making YouTube. And you would go to your unit and make the best edits. Mm -hmm. Like I was, I was blown away. I was like, "You need to go to film school. Like you need to be a movie producer, like the Superman one." Yeah. Like just, just yeah, stuff but... like that. And I'm like, if the right people saw that, like you could potentially help in like film. Yeah. Like I feel like that might be your calling I'm trying to think one day. What's a small channel that I really dig? This dude that makes videos. He has a daughter. He has like two forties, two two forties, and a soul. Stop says. it! <laughs> Growth on YouTube is is not on how good your videos are, and not how good your titles are, not how good your clickbait. Like it's it, who finds it, your yeah, channel. Yeah, literally. Who you know? It, it's who you know, who you collaborate with, and who find your channel. Yeah, that's it. Like you can, like I have some of the best videos. Like I'm my man, I'm just saying. But like some of my really good videos get no views. And it's like an impossible algorithm to figure out, but anyway, let's see what else. I guess they maybe fit what the algorithm of YouTube wants. Did you know that? YouTube has not made any money. That's why when I say you have a business you ran, and I knew that, but I just don't know the st statistics behind it, but the amount of money that it takes to host videos. So imagine building a platform for over 10 years, and you're paying out millions of dollars to these creators, and you're never getting a return think about it that way so like if you're upset you got to realize that the that's a shame because I actually I don't want I like don't really I'm not crazy about TV but I'm like I'm an avid YouTube watcher yeah she is you should insert that clip to this video I should I can it go it kind of supports what we just said yeah sense to me a lot of people get really pissed because of the 4,000 hours thing and I understand that that's frustrating but People did the math and essentially it comes down to like four dollars. Four bucks a month or something like that. And if you're arguing about that amount, then maybe you should ask yourself why are you making YouTube videos? Like four thousand hours of which makes sense. Two hundred thousand. Does that make sense? Doing it for the money or are you doing it for because you enjoy it? Because you actually enjoy it. Yeah. Like, do you actually enjoy it? Yeah. I feel I, I actually I feel enjoy. like so many people see YouTube and they <laughs> swear they're gonna get famous and they swear they're gonna make it. Even me, like when I first started, didn't I say I want my next my next position in my job yep. is to quit and do YouTube? Yep. That's why I literally said I literally wanted to quit my job. But tell them your reasoning behind it because your, yeah, yeah, your not, reasoning is that if you my whole goal in life is to to figure out a way be able to provide for family and myself and do something I love. Only objective in life right now is to figure out a way to be able to create anything 
and be able to do it for a living. Period. I but don't you said if you if you just are doing YouTube and you don't have your job, you can create. You can. You said you could be like have more time to create videos that you are extremely happy with. Yeah, exactly. The content. I mean, yeah, content. I've, 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 like I, I've like people have commented to Ryan before, like, oh, do you have a job? Like, how do you have a job? Or like, yeah, how do I? Have time? Like, I don't have time to do this. I work and I don't get home till whatever. Like Ryan doesn't get home till six thirty at night every day, and he leaves. What time do you leave the house early? <laughs> Which just like. This is what he chooses to do after work yeah. instead of sitting down watching TV. Or yeah, like, I'll, I'll, I'll treat I'll, I'll treat myself to a couple of videos like while my video is exporting. But then again, he also doesn't give his body the proper rest that it needs. So I might die like in a couple. Of <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. The whole reason I made this video, I might just keep this part and I might not keep my old okay. yesterday stuff, but. Um, is because Bradford White, my homie, made a video about this when it first happened and listening to his concern um, made me want to make a video and kind of like pretty much just kind of uplifting everyone that feels that way, feels that little bit of kind of defeated. I know he's not defeated because um, he, he just makes content regardless. I, I really admire him for um, always putting out content as much as he can. His motivation, his Insta even his Instagram posts. Yeah, everything. like he doesn't quit ever. And I want to challenge you guys to go subscribe to him. Go get him to a thousand. He's so close to getting to a thousand subscribers, and I'd love everyone from this channel to go support him and you know help him out. He's at like eight hundred and six eight. What is what is Brett for it? I bring you a subscriber, Brett, and and is eight. Wait, she's about to say something. What are you right, gonna go say? Ahead. Um, um, what's a human? <laughs> Brad, Brad's at 887 subscribers. All he needs is 113. So guys, let's get him to a thousand. Let's get him to a thousand. That's the least we can do. He's supported me from like literally day one. Yeah. Under his homies, I'm number one, and he's a homie. I freaking, I, he's he's a really good guy. So go subscribe to him. That's my only request for this video. You don't need to like it. You don't even need to comment. But and, I, it's, and it's like what you just comment. said, like how people that bust their <laughs> are kind of getting screwed. But you keep working hard and you will get there. Happy, Happy Friday. Friday. Guys. And nothing's ever made me cry as much as you, I swear Your smile gives me motivation and some new ideas My worst fear was always you not knowing who I am Cause I've been on the road dream chasing for you out here I was the first thing that you opened your eyes to And the last one that you said goodnight to, I went home and cried to And I bawled my eyes out and then watched you, glad I got you, that's a blatant fact And every negative thing I said, I swear I'll take it back